What's up everybody, me Tom Gamer bringing you a new game for you guys, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, so if you're ready, I'm ready to time to roll the intro. Alright guys, so I'm going to be playing Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildland, which is coming out in March. Uh, so there's an open beta going on right now, so hopefully you guys uh, are getting on it right now. I don't know how long it's lasting, I'm assuming until Monday of this week if you're watching this on... It's a... Uh, uh, February 23rd right now so I think it lasts the entire weekend and then you it's over for now uh, so yeah I'll be trying it out you can play solo or co-op I'm going to be playing solo because I usually like playing these games more solo so we're going to be taking down drug cartels and shit like that so I don't know how in depth we're going to get since it's only on open beta but the first part the first region is unlocked completely and there's a, some mission and side mission and all that stuff to do so we'll see what we can do we'll get into some trouble we'll try to kill some drug lords and dealers and Whoever gets in our way, and we'll try to make it sneaky as much as we can. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Oh, that's not good. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. All right. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that's not good. Our that does have not look good. The individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval. My friend. Drug enforcement agency. Sandoval you can do it. has had to spend uh, the last six years investigating whoa. the local cocaine industry. That's a lot of files. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. Those bastards. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. All right. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, too bad. the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, Jesus Christ, there's so many of them. Terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed Unidad, a Bolivian Unidad. special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered Always some species. casualties. The Always. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Uh, that's Since great then, tactic. Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also okay. have a clear pipeline to the U.S. and Canada. Oh, not Canada. The not not here. Stop Santa Blanca for There's no drugs here. Completely dismantle them, piece by piece. All right. The cartel is organized into four operations. Mm -hmm. Production. Smuggling security and influence at the top of it all is el jefe de los jefes Jefes. boss of bosses el sueño el sueño and that roughly translates to i guess we won't all right so we got our guy uh so yeah we got a pretty good well-equipped guy here pretty basic civilian well civilian except for the goddamn face there what up motherfucker? i'm gonna kill you <laughs> all right so Save character, that's what we're going with. And for Roger. Oh, look at this motherfucker right here. Am I, am I too well? The agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. You look so badass. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bohm, an international aid worker for just about five years. It means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. <laughs> Good one. How'd you get in country? A fluent business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. <laughs> Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. <laughs> nice banter, nice banter. about you guys 
I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? We don't yeah, talk about that. Someone else. <laughs> we were never there. <laughs> it's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. <laughs> Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. All right. So we're I'm setting sure the mood. You've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for elsewhere. You. LF. LF is going down. Not in the beta though, but. A lot of land to go through, Jesus. He's mold. got a religious street that raised pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pakatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. Ah, uh, yes, the but good old saying. I'm not going to. <laughs> the good old saying. guy's ready for action. This game looks tight though. Uh, the graphically wise, like it looks pretty tight. Four soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died. So you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. <laughs> are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pat Katari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Qataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where All is right. he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there's a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Oh, Saving yeah. Saving is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. All right. Don't kill the lieutenant before we get questions. That's a good plan. My tactical skills are a bit rusty, so hopefully it's going to go well. Dom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildland. You are now online. You can now invite your friends to a session. Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. Oh, I tell you, I'm not my game face is on. And these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Ooh-ah. Uh. Ooh-ah. Uh. Well, let's go. All right, let's go gen gingerly in here, guys. Uh, do I have binoculars? Okay, let's... Okay, we can use a drone. The drone is up. All right. What we got here? So we got one guy guarding the entrance. It's 
spotting another tango. I got a third. Oh, oh, shit. All right. All right, so, do I have any silencers on here? Oh, I do, actually. I want to make sure I do this properly. I want to do it the right way. Say the word. Engage. There you go. Tango down. All right. All right, let's get moving. Woo! Tango okay. Down. All right, let's move up. Oh, this is not, that's not that's not good. That's not that's really not good. He's history. Yep, sir. Okay, we're still good. Okay, that was close. Yo, Sicario with a submachine gun. Near that sandbag emplacement. All right, let's get a let's get a better look here. There's one more the muero. Got another tango. Sink it up. Put it down. Say the word. That tango's down. All right, let's move up on this bad boy. Okay, we're gonna get these guys. Tell me You're when the I deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Your thing? He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. <laughs> people like you. <laughs> so do I kill I him? Or? Get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Mm, that's not good. Maybe, maybe not. Amor is a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. Coming up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. All right, so I'm pretty sure we marked everybody here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Frag out, Manera Culeros. Fuck. That wasn't a good idea. Good to go. They've seen us. All right, let's uh, let's uh, just wait it out here. Hopefully, we won't get spotted. Fucked up a bit. Uh oh. They're coming right for us. Tango down. Opening fire. Shit. Fall back, fall back, and I'm dead. I'm dead. Tango down. God damn, that was close. Why are the tangos not down, you dim dims? Jesus Christ, Tango guys. Down. Orale. Orale.
Here you go. Boom, headshot. Okay, I think we killed most of them here. Alright. Alright. I think we, we're, all, we're all good. Clear on this side. That did not go the way I wanted. Open that shit. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. Let's go, guys. Is that a helicopter? Are we gonna are we gonna ride a helicopter? Let's get on the helicopter, guys. We have enough room for everybody? Let's go. Oh yeah. Alright. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine, I'm walking. Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons they had questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not. Were not. Were their names Yuri and Polito? See, si. Yuri Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run of the mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's got to know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over All right, every boss. Rock. All right, let's get the rundown. All right. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel. Okay, so we're not we're not killing Ricky. him. And the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other. All right. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER. All shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, the Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. Holy shit. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. All right, so I guess we're gonna either kill them. Sorry, car, guys, the car doesn't have handbrakes. All right, so, so I did a lot of couple uh, story missions to get to uh, do sort of the big boss of this region, like I already said. Uh, so we're going to get there. We're going to find him, and our mission is to kill them. These guys, uh, well, are, you already listened to that part. So, yeah, a couple missions. So I had to find a car, find their location, and then I had to uh, stop a, stop a um, cargo, and then... Uh, I had to find some information from some guys. So now we're going to go to... They're in the hunting lodge. And we're going to find them from there. So let's get some killing. So I've done some stealth. 
I've done a bit of um, uh, stealth and just assault. Both of them seem to work pretty good. It's just like on the assault wise, you're you're sort of limited. Not limited, but you you die real quick. So I'm on the right region. Yeah, we are. Okay. So let's find these two muchachos. The drone is up. So something's smoking. I'm assuming it's here. But there doesn't seem to be anything here. You would assume they would have more protection than this. Okay, so I don't see anything, so we're gonna... Just gonna go in and assault. I'm assuming they're here. They might not be here. Advance on the lodge. Stay alert. Okay, they're here. They are here. We've got some hostile activity. Oh, in the back of us. Okay, I guess we're gonna enter through the front door. Pick lock. Oh, we're gonna go stealthy a bit. All right. Move in. Watch those doorways and corners. All right. I guess they're in like uh, they have a. Okay, so we're good here. Okay, so secret. Secret downstairs. Well, secret. It's not that secret. But, uh, something tells me there are a lot of these guys. Okay. Bowman said they kept him alive for 47 hours. Holy shit. Tough son of a bitch held out for a long time. All right. I feel like he was waiting for us to come get him and we're real fucking late. Time to make it right. Cariño, who were you before you met me? Mamacita, I was nobody. Nothing. I could not have even imagined a life so deep. A love there are these so fuckers. full as the love I have with you. Oh, God, I feel the same. I was half a person before I met you. I was a faded Dimash, out of focus. Time to kill these little... Your eyes. Damn. Just now when I was breaking that man's hands, I was imagining that he had tried to touch you. Come on. Alright, so that's freaky. Alright, let's... That's a kill. Alright. Looks like the feeling for One down. Fucking shit. Where the fuck did you go? Oh, there's a basement. Oh, hello, mama. You're down. Oh, well. Sucks to be you. Alright, night vision on. Be careful. This motherfucker is... Okay, that's not good. Let's get some real, get some real weapons, cause he can shoot me before I can even see him. He's down. Target down. Let's go slowly. Holy shit! This is a torture shack and a half. He's down. One down. Oh my god! It's a real time butcher shot. Down. You know how in the movies. All right. It was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> sure. Well, I feel fucking great. Taking out that lovey-dovey horror show also earned us some points with the locals. Make contact when you find something new. Bowman out. I like. Okay, there's a video Looks available. Like we've riled them up. Our security infrastructure was being attacked. It made me question if La Plaga, our head sicario, was up to the task. Or if he was too distracted with social media <laughs> antics. Are you too busy chasing pussy on the internet to do your fucking job? Or he's fucking your job? No, Hefe. He's my brother, Sueño. I will keep him in line. Alright. La Plaga got the message. Too well. He doubled down. 
Whoever is behind this, know that we will find you. Know that for every one of us you kill, we will kill ten civilians at random. There is no such thing as innocent to me. All right, that's not good. He's the next, uh... The little pendejo had no idea how much damage he had just caused. That's not good. All right, let's uh, bounce, guys. This is disgusting. Let's get the cleanup crew in here and uh, take care of this. Ooh, mama. Let's let's try this out before we go. Let's destroy this lab. Woohoo! Uh, thank God I didn't let her get on that fucking weapon. She would have probably killed me. Alright, they're coming this way, so let's uh, get out of here. Let's get out, let's extract, because, uh... Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Let's, uh, there's a helicopter outside, so let's go, uh, let's go with that. Let's go with that helicopter before they get to us. Guys, helicopter. Guys, helicopter. <laughs> shit. Helicopter! Oh, guys, you better hurry the fuck up. I got it. I'll fly. Go! Go! They're coming straight for you. What were you still... Okay, they, they haven't seen us yet. Oh, hey. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get on, get on. All right, let's roll. Holt. Holt. Come on. All right, let's leave this, this ghost town. That was something else. All right, guys, that's going to be it for uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildland. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This was actually pretty fun. It's exactly what I expected the game was going to be. So I'm really happy about that. Doing stealthy, doing fucking full on attack there. I did a variation of the both and both feels pretty good. Driving feels pretty good in the game. The shooting actually pretty, it's actually, I would say, well executed for the shooting. And you're not you're not a bullet sponge either, so you you it doesn't take you long for you. game i i personally like it it's exactly what i thought it was like i said and uh yeah so without further ado guys thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you in the next video keep on keeping on